I want to ask your thoughts on the news yesterday. We didn't touch on this at all. Donald Trump filed a lawsuit yesterday. Yeah, and it's probably, um, hopefully he's not listening. It's his best one yet. No. Oh, is that right? Um, I think so. It's the most conclusive, comprehensive lawsuit. It's basically if you took the Russiagate investigation, which Jevin and I ran, and looked at it from a criminal perspective, what Donald Trump has done is said, okay, how do I encompass everyone from Comey, Clinton, Clapper, Brennan, and all the whole DNC crew on down? How do I get them civilly in federal court? And the way you do it is you utilize this thing called RICO, Racketeering Enforcement and corrupt organizations. We used to prosecute gangs under RICO yes, statutes criminally. Yes, cartels. You're right. Um, but what people, most people don't realize is RICO also has a civil function. So what he did was he took the RICO statute, which is permissible under by law, and said these guys orchestrated the largest criminal enterprise in U.S. history, but I'm suing them on my civil side of the house for, I don't know, $75 million. The whole point, right, is to get to discovery. Yes. Well, then also civil can lead to criminal. Absolutely. It can. But I think John Durham's got that covered. We could talk about that later. But I think what what the president wanted to focus on was finally say, I'm not going after onesies and twosies here. I'm bringing everybody in one federal lawsuit. Everybody's got to go to the table as a defense. So just being objective, do you think this has a chance of walk us through why? Because, I mean, we've just kind of been so used to be cynical. Sure. And, and, you know, we've been you know, we, we talk about how hard it is for defamation and when you get deplatformed right. and all that, this is totally a different animal. What he did was figure out a way uh, with his team of lawyers to say, okay, how can we encompass everybody? And the only real way to do that is RICO. But is there a way to hold them accountable under that statute civilly? RICO permits that both monetarily with judgments north of $100 million, which he doesn't really care about. But if you find them at fault, um, the discovery process along the way is what's critical because they're going to have to come in and say, no, Mr. President, we did not violate the RICO statute. We did not enter into an organized conspiracy against you to prevent you from being president. And then while you were president, we did not go up and illegally surveil you. And oh, how, by the way, the great thing is, how are they going to get around that? There's an inspector general report that says exactly what they did, and that's, how, that's what Donald Trump brought civilly. And there's also Department of Justice filings, the revocation of the FISA warrants against Carter Page. How are they going to get around that? These are judicial rulings in place and concrete uh, memorandum under oath that they can't dodge.